I'm really into Super Smash Bros. And I love talking about it. I haven't been able to talk about Super Smash Bros. in a while because nothing big has been going on. But I feel like I've talked about Mario Kart enough and I really want something else to talk about that I'm really into. So we're going to be talking about a Super Smash Bros. fan game. That fan game being called Super Smash Land. Super Smash Land is a Game Boy demake of the original Smash Bros. And it's not made on the Game Boy, it's just made to look and sound like it was made on the Game Boy. It's its own game running on its own engine. In this game, you have Mario, Kirby, Link, Pikachu, and Vaporeon and Mega Man as unlockable characters. The music for this game is really good. The aesthetics and graphics are really good. It has some of the different uh, additional uh, play modes of Smash Bros. It has the multiplayer Smash. You can actually like do a lot of the stuff you could in regular Smash Bros. The first thing I would have to say as a complaint is that because you can only use two buttons for your movements, it really limits what you can do. Like... Mario doesn't have a standard punch. Instead, he has like a fireball throw and an up punch. It kind of sucks to not have the standard punch for Mario, especially when I'm so used to Mario being a brawler type character. And Link, by default, throw his bomb. But like, at least he has Sword Slash as an optional move. Um, all the other characters controlled fine, like how I thought they would. But I love Link and Mario. And they feel a bit off to me, I'm not gonna lie. So, it has an arcade mode, where it's just like standard Smash Bros. story mode. If you like going through that, go through that. But it also has like the multi-man Smash, where you can just custom build your own game, where you can like set up different opponents to fight. I, I think that it is a solid enough attempt at making a Smash Bros. game. The problems that come from this is the fact that it decided to be a Game Boy game limited by the issues that Game Boys have so you can barely make out the sprites you can barely tell what you're doing and um, the move sets are heavily limited I love all the stages that are in the game I think that they are perfect representations of each franchise I'm glad that Mega Man got in this he actually predates his appearance in the real Smash Bros games and Vaporeon is in this which Vaporeon would later be recycled into the creator's next game called Rivals of Aether, which is a Smash Bros-like game, and uh, I think that's totally fair. Vaporeon isn't based off a real Smash character, so the moveset is entirely that guy, so he can do whatever he wants with the moveset. I don't think it's fair to call him out for that. So, yeah, I'm glad that he made Rivals of Aether. You can actually buy that game if you want to support him. This game is free to download. If you want to download it, it will be in the description below. What do you think about this game, though, Luminous, before we wrap things up? I love the way the sprites look. It looks really cute, and honestly, I know it's limited because it's a Game Boy, but I really like that it was gone back being demade on the Game Boy. I don't really see too many people doing that, and I think Smash is a unique concept for it. So, even though the movesets are limited, I still like it a lot. I think the sprites are really well done. The Vaporeon has an interesting move set, so I do like that that was uh, recycled into his uh, game later on. But I really think this is cool. I'm glad that dude was able to find more stuff to do, get more work. This, this is honestly, I think, pretty solid. So I would say my final thoughts are, I like that this exists. I will be playing this quite a bit. But my challenge is for anybody who's watching this video who's skilled, Try to make a either NES or SNES version of this. I would love an NES or SNES Super Smash Bros. game, especially SNES. Please, somebody make this game.